That's rather good. Are you all right, Doctor? Hmm? Yes, yes, Rhea. Listen, what do you get if you cross a Delton scorpion with an Ormelian dexacron? Should I know? What? No, it's a joke. Oh, very good. No, it isn't. Hello, Greg. What isn't? Life. Life isn't what, Greg? Very good. <laughs> Just got up, have you? No, I can't sleep. What's that? <laughs> Nardi's old book of linguistics. What are you doing? Oh, just having a little read as well. He's telling jokes, would you believe it? Well, it's a joke book. Space Age Side Splitters by Stan Locks. Don't tell me, Stan Locks is your pen name. They? Listen, Greg, this is a good one. What do you get? This if you could cross... help you to sleep, Greg. It's impossible. What's the matter with you two? Haven't you got a sense of humour? Not at the moment, no. All right. If you don't want to know what you get if you cross a Delton Scorpion with an Ormelian Dexacron, that's fine by me. I know when I'm beaten. If you can't appreciate my modest attempt at bringing a little laughter into your lives, I'm not going to get upset about it. Good. Now come over here and tell me about this direction fixer again. You're obsessed with that console, aren't you? Scientific curiosity, that's all. You're up to something, Rhea. Yes, I'm going to steal all your knowledge and take over the universe. Yes, well, I'm not interested in your little secret, as long as it's nothing sinister. It's nothing sinister. Mm -hmm. Direction fixer. Yes, which bit's that? Here. Don't you know? Oh, that. Direction fixer, that's what it's called, is it? Yes. Well, it's all a question of data. Data? Yes, data feed input here, registers here, and there you go. It's the most precise way of navigating the TARDIS. But I never use it because the data has to be very precise. And precision isn't your strong point. I prefer to use a bit of intuition. Now then, Greg, doctor's surgery time. What's your problem? Greg? You know, this book isn't funny. That's the doctor's problem. You just fix your direction and keep out of it. Come on, Greg, what's up? <sighs> you might as well tell me. I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> what if you don't know? I feel left out. Left out? I don't see how. I thought we all got on pretty well. No, no, it isn't that. It isn't you or Rhea. It, it's strange. I feel as though I should be doing something. But I can't remember what. Analyze 
into Cosmos Space Lines. Welcome to the Galactus Central Spaceport and the planet Analyze Server. All newly arrived immigrants must proceed to customs on arrival. No off-world positions are permitted. Analyze Seven offers you a new life. Welcome. Excuse me, officer. I'm afraid I've got myself lost. That's all right. Where do you want to go? Well, I've just arrived. I don't really know. You sound confused. I am. I know I should be here, but I don't know why. I know the feeling. I arrived only last month. You'll settle in soon. Thanks. Don't worry. I'm just off to the settlement centre myself. I'll show you the way. Thanks. Settlement centre. Hmm. That sounds right. Come on then. Uh, my name's Dolores. Pleased to meet you, officer. I'm Liam. You needn't call me officer. There's a strong tradition of community policing here, and virtually no crime. It sounds pretty good, but I knew it would be. I've been missing this place all my life. Worked it all out then, Ria? I think so. Where's Greg? He's back in his room again. Look, I'm worried about him. This moping around isn't like Greg at all. I know our encounter with the Sionivores put him at a bit of a low ebb, but... Sionivores? Yes, mind parasites. Horrible things. But Greg's usually so... so... Greg? Yes. He's probably just... Under the weather. <laughs> An Earth expression. Usually covers a multitude of complex psychological conditions. Look, Rhea, will you go and get him? I think I've got an idea about how we might snap him out of it. All right. Welcome to the settlement centre. Thanks, Liam. It won't take long. I'll wait for you outside. I'm due off duty any minute. Right. OK. Next. I... I'm new here, I... Obviously. This is the Fresh Claims window. Oh, uh... Planet of Origin. Perseus Major. Do you have your biochem analysis papers? Yes. Here. Is it all right? Lime Tree Court number 56. Here's your key. How do I get there? Your key opens a surface car labelled with your address in the transport pound. Oh, uh, oh, thank you. Next. Everything all right? Y yes, yes. Thank you. I've got a car. <laughs> we all have cars here. Let me see your address. Here. Lime Tree Court. Very nice. Tell you what, I'll take you to the transport pound in my car, and then I'll show you the way home. Thanks, Liam. Greg, can I come in? Look, Ria, I know you're trying to be helpful, but I'm really not in the mood to be cheered up. Stop being so self-indulgent. As far as I'm concerned, you can stew in your own juices for as long as you like. But for the doctor's sake, will you just come to the control room? The doctor's sake? He's worried about you. And besides, I just know he's going to go on reading jokes from that terrible book if he doesn't get the satisfaction of cheering you up. Oh, I don't know. You keep saying that. Come on, Greg. Humour the doctor and do us both a favour. Here he is, doctor. I wish you luck. Bring the subject forward. The subject? Yes, you are the subject for a little experiment of mine. Oh, no, he's taken up conjuring now. Uh, quiet in the stalls. You are about to witness a practical demonstration of the benefits of intuition over precision. This I've got to see. Take no notice of her, Greg. I'm about to transform your state of mind from one of abject lethargy into an enthusiasm for life. <laughs> hmm, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, you see here the TARDIS direction fixer panel, a contraption positively bound and gagged by procedure and precision, a contraption scorned by me, I might add. I will, however, consent to its use on this one occasion in order to prove that although imprecise data won't get us to a predicted destination, it might give us a lot of fun. The illusion of free will becomes reality. Press a few buttons, Greg. Which ones? 
Doctor, isn't this a bit irresponsible? We could end up in a lot of trouble. No, the coordinate deselector will disallow any randomly selected coordinates for black holes, mercury swamps, known cosmic death spots, that sort of thing, I hope. What about the unknown ones? My business is the unknown. Press away, Greg. Right, everyone. Best behaviour. We're about to arrive on a planet entirely of Greg's finding. I don't suppose it's the first time anyone's asked you this, but don't you ever suspect that you might be a little unhinged? No, it isn't the first time I've been asked. You know, this is stupid, but I really do feel better. There, Rhea, that'll teach you to scoff. Forward! Beautiful place. Beautiful countryside. Beautiful choice, Greg. In that case, why haven't you brought us here before? Well, I obviously haven't got your excellent intuition. Where's Rhea? She's still inside, I think. Come on, Rhea. Get yourself out here. Reap the benefits of Greg's intuition. All right. Doctor? Yes, Greg? Thanks very much. <laughs> it wasn't me. No, don't start getting modest. I realise I've been a pain in the neck lately, and... Oh, thanks for curing me. You did it yourself, that's the main thing. I suppose you're going to force me into enjoying myself now. Yes, vast, sprawling scenery. I think a ramble is called for. I'll get a flask of tea and we'll be off. It is safe, isn't it? Of course it's safe. Don't be such a misery. <laughs> Look who's talking! Maybe it's not you two, I won't be long. So what do you think of your new home? Oh, it's a great flat. Look, automatic food dispensers and cleaners. It's fantastic. Your biochem analysis must have been top-notch. You'll be needing these labour-saving devices to help you recover from your day's work. Oh, yes, work. I can't wait to get started. The governors are going to be pleased with you, I can tell. Oh, are they? Um, What's the matter? Nothing. Mm, nothing. Come on, we all go through it to some degree, ask me. Well, I want to work so much... I don't know what I have to do. I I feel the need, but I don't understand. You will, Dolores. Will I? I'm positive. You'll do more than just outlive your predecessor. Who? The girl who stayed here before. She went after only a week at work. No prospect. Where did she go? Oh, I don't know. They moved them to other areas. They take them on the transport ship. You can see them embarking at the terminus sometimes. Perhaps she didn't like it here after all. She just wasn't the type. Anyway, I'll be off. You'll need rest after your journey. I like a nice cup of tea in my TARDIS. I like a nice cup of tea. Rhea, get back out there and enjoy yourself. I just came back in for your telescope. Why? I thought I could see a city or something in the distance. Mm. Well, perhaps we'll take a look later. Yes. Now, where is it? This what you're looking for? Oh. I thought we might need a telescopic view of things, knowing your curiosity. How's Greg? Fine. I hate to admit it, but your idea did the trick. Rhea, you're forgetting yourself. Come on. Greg? Where's he gone? He was sitting just here when I left him. Well, he's not there now. Have a look through this while I scout around. Right. It was really nice of you to give me a lift. That's all right. What were you doing, wandering about? i just arrived. What's your name? Greg. Greg Holmes. Gregory? That's uh, an Earth name, isn't it? Yes. I'm Liam. Have you got your biochem analysis? Ah, uh, no. Never mind, we'll get you one. Oh, thanks. It isn't often we get you arriving by personal transport. We didn't detect your landing. <laughs> the TARDIS is a very special. TARDIS! Oh, What's the name of your ship? Yes, it stands for something. Time and relative something or other. The doctor knows. Doctor! Did he come with you? Yes. And who is he? Oh, he's a good friend of mine. The doctor is a known saboteur of Dalek operations. His interference in the Temporoth project endangered the purification of the Dalek race. His presence cannot be tolerated. How's the new female shaping up? A bit of a disappointment, sir. 
One of my clones had developed an enthusiasm for her, but I'm afraid it was unjustified. Mm. What's her name? Dolores Hearn. Ah, yes. And the results? Intelligence, average. Stress resistance, poor. We're giving her a physical workout now in the gyro cabinet. Hmm. I don't hold out much hope for her. Prepare her deportation papers. Yes, sir. Anything? No. This is ridiculous. Miles of open countryside and there's no sign of him. Maybe he's doubled back on us. I think we should go back to the TARDIS. You're right. Come on then. It's getting dark. Yes. We'll get some rest in the TARDIS and set out first thing in the morning. I hope he's all right. So do I. What's that by the TARDIS? It's a hover car, I think. No one inside. You must be the Doctor. Must I? Who are you? A friend of Greg's. I wasn't aware that he'd made any intergalactic acquaintances whilst on 20th century Earth. So it's true. Your TARDIS is a time machine. Do you know where Greg is? Yes, I found him just now. I didn't know he made friends so quickly. You're a very suspicious man, Doctor. Greg is quite unharmed. In fact, he's very happy. I expect you'd like to see him. I expect we would. Don't tell me. Would we like to take a little ride in your motor car? The door's open. Name? Dolores Harm. Speak up. Dolores Harm. Planet of origin? Perseus Major. What's going to happen to me? Do you acknowledge that 1,400 hours yesterday you were allotted 56 Lime Tree Court as residence? Yes. It's my new home. Give me the key. What? You no longer qualify for that residence. Thank you. But I've only just arrived. Dolores Herm, native of the planet Perseus Major. The potential of your biochem analysis has not been realized by further exploitation of your genetic properties. Oh, I feel so tired. I must sleep. Do you wish for off-world deportation? Off? No. This is my only home now. I can't leave. You must report to the embarkation terminus for relocation. Here are your papers. Can't I go home? Next. Here you are. 56 Lime Tree Court. What do you think of your new home? It's really nice. I like it. I knew you would. This is the sort of place I've always wanted. I know. This must be the city you saw earlier, Ria. Yes, fast, isn't it? Seething. You admire our city. I've noticed it. Galactus is the showpiece of our planet. What planet would that be? And the Lion Seven. Never heard of it. A seasoned traveller like yourself. You seem to know rather too much about me. Too much? Too much for comfort, Mr. Liam. Just Liam. When do we get to see Grey? Soon. Doctor, look, down there in the street. Some of Mr. Liam's friends, judging by the uniforms. Never mind their clothes. Look at their faces. It's rude to whisper. Kidnapping isn't exactly the height of politeness. You didn't have to come along. Really? I didn't fancy an argument with that holstered gun of yours. Government offices. Get out and follow me. You know, I have a funny feeling you've not been telling us the truth. You're far too perceptive for your own good, Doctor. You're late, Liam. The governors are waiting. So there are other faces round here. We have little time for the off-world prejudice against a weak clone. Can't your governors cope with real people? Shut up. Is this the one for the terminus? Yes. Move. Ow! Rhea! No, Doctor. You stay with me. Uh, Rhea, uh, don't worry. A bit late for that! Where's your charming friend taking her? She has no function and neither has your question. Move. <laughs> Name? 
No comment. Name. I'm not answering your questions. You have no right to ask them. I'm a visitor on this planet, and I'm therefore protected by intergalactic law. Planet of origin. I've told you I'm not... Very well. You've had your chance. Unknown alien, you are a non-resident of this planet. An Elias 7 has strict immigration controls which are adequately documented in galactic law. By coming here without the required qualification or intention, you have forfeited your rights as a galactic citizen and do not qualify for off-world deportation. You will be accompanied to the relocation terminus. You can't do this and you know it! It's been done. This way, alien. Two of you? One thousand of me, to be precise. In here, Doctor. Ow! Will you stop prodding me in the back? Oh, shut up! You're a little on edge, aren't you? This is the one called the Doctor. Daleks. You are late. Why? He, he took time to, to locate. Your excuse is insufficient. You are lying. Yes. I take it you're responsible for the genetic cloning here. Silence! Just an observation. Well, quite a reception party. Uh, are we waiting for somebody? What can I do for you? Execution squad, assemble and exterminate! <laughs> Stop this at once. Do not interfere. How dare you address me in such a manner? Silence. You will be silent. On whose authority have you killed the doctor? Answer me. He is an enemy of the Daleks. That's no answer. Do not question the Daleks. You arrogant idiots. You know you cannot act on such matters without confirmation from the Supreme Council. The doctor. You know that, don't you? Yes. I have just returned from Scarrow. See this small capsule? This is a judgment from the Emperor himself. A tiny extract of his consciousness. It knows now what you have done and will seek out the one responsible. See, it's moving already. It knows. There was no intention to disobey the Emperor. We were merely eliminating all obstacles to Daleks. Genetic you research is a total priority. That is what the Emperor has ordered. The Doctor is our most resistant enemy. He had to be exterminated. The Doctor had to be exterminated. <laughs> Have the Time Lord's body removed to my laboratory. We obey! And remember, the Emperor will not tolerate failure. Come on, you lot, get in line. I'm so tired. You, move. I can't. Right. It's all right, I'll help her. Come on. Thank you. 
Get on board. Come on, move. You certainly believe in packing us in tightly. I can hardly move. Thanks for helping me. That's all right. What happened to you? Have they been starving you? Starving? No. I've eaten well since I arrived on this planet. When was that? Yesterday. Yesterday? Yes, I know. I must look pretty awful. This is what happens to failures. I dreamt about this place, saved up to come and live here, but I'm just not up to standard. What standard? Biochem potential not realized. I'm a failure. I'm so tired. I sleep. I must sleep. And everyone else on this ship looks pretty much the same. for work. I thought I might have trouble getting here. It was only when you left last night that I realised you hadn't given me any directions. But you got here all the same. Yes, I did. Come on inside. It's quite cold this morning. Yes, all right. Morning, Liam. Is this our new hope? Yes, he is. What do you mean? Haven't you shown him his biochem analysis, Liam? Oh, Gregory, you are quite remarkable. Oh, uh, it's Greg, actually. This way, Gregory. Oh, sorry. Now, we want you to relax. Take it easy, Gregory. I am relaxed. Good. Now, first things first. The intelligence test. Now, sit in front of this screen. I'm sorry, I tried. Oh, hey, you're awake now. It's all right. Who are you? Oh, yeah. Are we there yet? Wow. I don't know, wherever it is. No, we haven't landed once. Haven't you any idea where we're going? You're different, aren't you? Am I? You don't look like a failure. I should hope not. I am. You said that before. What do you mean by it? I mean, what have they done to you? Was it those clones? Clones? You mean the police? No, I only met one of them, Liam. He was very nice. I thought we might get on quite well. But there's more than one Liam, you know. He's been cloned, genetically duplicated. But uh, are you sure? There was nothing about that in the brochure. I'm not surprised. The Liam I met was rather unpleasant. When you say brochure, well, did you come here on holiday? No, for good. I came here to spend the rest of my life. Why? I just had to. You mean they forced you? No, who? No, nobody forced me. I knew I had to be here. Had to? Yes. I was so unhappy before I arrived here. I couldn't sleep, for one thing. I felt I was missing out on something. A friend of mine felt like that. He was just moping around before we landed here. Then he'd understand. I hope he does better than me. Better at what? Oh, things. Tests, exercises. Didn't you do any? No. They said I didn't have the required qualification or intention. Didn't you want to come here, then? No. N nobody comes to Analyze 7 unless they really want to. That's the only way you can get in. So much for Greg's intuition, Doctor. Governor Tollum to Liam, clone 107. Respond, please. Liam here, Governor Tollum. Report on the Doctor's companion. Gregory Holmes? Looks very promising, sir. The first results are coming through. And they indicate a genetic suitability unparalleled by any off-world immigrant. But don't push him. We want to be sure. Sir. Um, what is it? He's asked about the doctor, only in passing, but he seems more than usually concerned. Friendship bonds are a problem. Uh, you'd better not tell him he's dead yet. Say he's settling in nicely or something. Sir. Here's a planned inducement, and a breakthrough might come about through sheer chance. Uh. Enter. What is it? Where is the doctor's body? Transported to Scarrow for special analysis. Is that all you wanted to ask? Yes! Well, don't waste my time. I'm busy enough trying to help your race survive without having to answer stupid questions. Your job is to govern the planet in your own uniquely sadistic way. So get on with it, and leave the real work to me. Well, go on, then. I obey! Even when they see him killed, they can't accept that he's dead. What a suspicious lot they are.
your claim then. I shouldn't be here. <laughs> Most people wish they weren't. This way. What no? Shut up. Speak. This one claims she shouldn't be here. There's been a mistake. There are no mistakes. I am not a D-ray. Silence. I will not be silent. I'm a galactic ambassador here by accident. You have no right to treat me in this way. Which government do you represent? The Triplanet Alliance of Calfadoria. An Alliance 7 has a strict policy of isolation. I can see why. What is this place? What do you do with the d rates here? Are you listening to me? You have been identified by Dalek Control as an off-world intruder. You are an associate of the Doctor. You know the Doctor? He is a known saboteur of Dalek operations and has been exterminated. What? Your biochem analysis shows no genetic suitability. suitability you will what? therefore be utilized as a source of short-term immunizer. I demand... Take her away now! Move! I was sent to see you, Professor... Tell them. Uh, Gregory Holmes, that right? Greg, actually. Sorry, Greg. You're from Earth, are you? Yes. We don't get many from there. Oh. Where are you from? Scarrow. I, I think I've heard of that. I expect you have. Yes, I remember. The doctor told me once, but I... You're a very remarkable young man, you know. <laughs> Am I? Where is the doctor? Not here. You've got a lot of potential. Oh, thank you. Potential for what? For helping the universe. Me? Yes. Your body possesses a genetic quality which, as far as we can tell, is unique. What use is that to the universe? That quality is an immunity to a disease. A disease which might engulf every living being. We've been searching so long. I had our hopes raised so many times. I had to check the results thoroughly. So that's it. I really am some sort of galactic penicillin. Let's say that you're clear to go on to the next phase. Oh, don't worry. It's not painful. Oh, well, I wasn't thinking it would be. Yes. Yes, of course. Now then, you must come with me to Scarrow. 
How long will that take? Got no time at all. the ones who cloned the guards. I don't see how this helps us get out. Dalek operations. That's what it said. Dalek. I remember that name from somewhere. They can't have killed the doctor. Give me some more water. Thanks. How do you feel? Drained. Water isn't enough. It makes me feel a bit better, but I need more. Here. No, not just water. My thoughts, my feelings, they're falling away. What is it they're doing to you? That contraption. They attach you here. See these marks? Then it draws something from you. It's as if they're draining your life force, your will to live. What for? I don't know, but it won't be long before they decide to start on me. And when that happens, they're in for a surprise. This wretched time channel is fluctuating again. What does that mean? Power levels are low on Scarrow. I'd better signal that we intend to travel. So we're traveling in time then? Yes, into the future. Come on. Just like being in the TARDIS, really. Will the Doctor be on Scarrow? No time for questions now. Come on. seems to have been cut off. Don't worry, I know the way. Down this corridor, come on. As long as you're sure. Oh, Professor Tollum, what is it? Oh, get back, back! It's like this huge worm. They must have broken from the second bulkhead. What? Stand back while I deal with it. Stand up to our little box of tricks. Step into the booth. I refuse. Oh, look who it is, our little alien ambassador. Well, you listen to me, ambassador. We don't hold with diplomatic immunity here. You've got no status, and disobedient D rates are expendable. Step inside. Very well. Sit down. Ah! Life and lines attached. Get these things off me! Engage. Oh, my eyes! Governor, the extractor units are severely damaged. 
was something odd about that alien's genetic structure. Your security was insufficient. The D-Raids are escaping towards the transport ship. They won't be able to operate the ship. The alien ambassador is leading them. She may have the capability. Give me a squad of Daleks to deal with them. The D-Raids must not be exterminated. We need their life force. But they're getting away. The Dalek security squad is in quarantine. They are unavailable. Look, they're getting away. You should have prevented this. You have failed. You will be no. exterminated. No, please, I... A symptom of the disease you're going to cure. Professor Dolan, report! Look at that scream. That's a Dalek. Uh, yes. A Dalek. Scarrow. I remember. Scarrow is the home planet. And the doctor. Where is the doctor? Report, report, Not now, Greg. Immediately, report! Yes, I'm here. What is it? I'm about to try. Is this the specimen? Specimen? Uh, this is the subject, yes. Proceed with all haste. It is Yes, I will. Imperative. Now, please, let me get on. Why was the doctor exterminated? The doctor? It was beyond my control. Your underling acted without considering the new Dalek priorities. That was unfortunate. Yes. Yes, it was. Now, please, leave me in peace. Very well. Now, Greg. You have exactly been telling the truth, have you? No. And you want me to help the Daleks? And you've let them kill the Doctor? I, I didn't let them. Oh, take me back to that other planet. I want nothing to do with you and your galvanised overlords. What are you going to do on Analyze 7, then? You heard yourself. The Doctor's dead. You can't escape. You're stuck here. Well, what about Rhea? What? Oh, the other one. Well, she's probably dead, too, for all I know. She was shipped out to a death camp. I don't believe this. It's a complete nightmare. I understand how you must feel. Oh, do you? Yes. Yes, I do, Greg. I only lied to you about the Doctor because... Because well, you thought I wouldn't help you if you told me the truth. Well, yes, I suppose. Well, you were right. But the rest is true, virtually. What do you mean, virtually? Something is on the brink of engulfing the universe. Yes, the Daleks, and you're helping them. It's something far worse than the Daleks, Greg, and I've got to help the Daleks stop it. Do you expect me to believe you? Will you believe me, Greg? ever resourceful doctor. I was saving you for a later entrance. I'm not interested in your theatrical attempts at bribing Greg into helping you. What happened to you? I don't know, really. I woke up in a cryogenic unit through there about three hours ago, feeling distinctly exterminated. You're the subject of my little counterplot against the Daleks, Doctor. I was hoping you hadn't betrayed your race. But which race is that? Tollum is a Thal, Greg, the other indigenous race on Skaro, and hereditary enemies of the Daleks. I haven't much time for my racial heritage just now, Doctor. The bigotry of the Thals has branded me a heretic and a traitor. They can't see farther than their hatred of the Daleks. Understandable. Especially since you've joined forces with them. That isn't true. I don't think you're really qualified to talk about truth. Look, time is running out. It invariably does when the Daleks are involved. Now, Mr. Tollim, before we embark upon your glorious counterplot, which I've no doubt you will explain, I have but a few personal priorities. Firstly, I'm relieved to discover that I am in fact alive, but I have to admit that I am at a total loss as to how this circumstance came about. Enlighten me. You shouldn't underestimate your own biochemistry, Doctor. I stopped your extermination prematurely. But just to make sure, I had my Liam clone inject you with a little something to boost your natural defences. Your clone? When? Surely you remember his annoying habit of jabbing you in the back as he escorted you to Dalek control. 
Well, one of those jabs was a hypo-injector. Satisfied, Doctor? I'm grateful. Where's Rhea? Oh, he thinks she's dead. He doesn't even know for sure. Then you should have made it your business to find out, Mr. Tollum. Report! City bulkhead erosion, irreversible infestation, unstoppable. Report on immunization program! Short term immunizer supplies are diminishing rapidly. Incidents of Dalek infection increasing beyond medical control. Outer defenses are to be abandoned. The Emperor must be defended at all costs. The Thal scientist is beginning the final phase of his experiments. Report from Ananias 7. Work gap disruption caused by AIDS. Doctor what is happening to me? This unit is infected! I am changing, I am changing the mutant Mutation is approaching its final phase. This slide shows the next stage. An insect? Of gigantic proportions and virtually indestructible. So, why are the Daleks suddenly mutating into these creatures? Their original mutation from humanoid to the Dalek creature that lives inside the mobility machine was artificially induced. I know. Well, look. Here's the structure. You see there that it's only marginally stable. There are certain innate tendencies that could develop in the Dalek if the stability was disturbed. So Davros made a botched job of it. And the Daleks have been tampering with their genetic makeup ever since. I remember. That business with the Temporal. And experiments like that have helped to destabilize the Dalek mutant creature. Well, that's right. The Daleks are turning into mindless, huge insects, and they're terrified of the prospect. They can delay their mutant phasing by absorbing the life force of certain suitable genetic types. But the mutation builds an immunity to it, or bypasses it. 
Unless we can totally alter the course of the mutation, to stabilize it again, it can't be stopped. And Greg happens to have the right qualities to stop it. But why stop it anyway? This could be the end of the Daleks forever. The end of the Daleks as we know them. Well, what's an insect compared to a neurotic, death-dealing dustbin? The insects may be mindless, but they can travel through space, and they will shower the universe with eggs. I've studied a smaller version of the same insect on the planet Karost. Once they've formed a swarm, they embark on a colonization program. Galaxy after galaxy will be smothered by them. I see. And your counterplot, the reason for saving me. The Daleks won't be satisfied with salvation. They'll want to choose another mutation, one that will retain their intellect, but make them invincible. What can I do about that? I don't know, but I've read of your resourcefulness. But one thing's for sure, I'll be too busy with Greg to do anything else. You've got two advantages. The Daleks have too many problems to deal with it as it is, and they think you're dead. They originally wanted your help, but I think they're rather pleased you're out of their way. So, I've got to keep the Daleks busy? Destroy their operation on Analyze 7. It's an abomination, and it's their way to yet another genetic experiment, this time to become super beings. What about Greg? He must stay here. He's the only one who can stop the mutant phase. I'll be all right, Doctor. Will he, Tolo? What effect would the experiments have on Greg? I don't know. You don't know? It's never been done before, but to stop this catastrophe, I'm willing to take any risk. I'd experiment on myself if I thought it would help. But it wouldn't. Here's a detailed map of Dalek control on Analyze 7. I take it. It's classified and has details of all Dalek installations on it. Thank you. But I can't allow this... There must be another way. There isn't, Doctor. Now go before I kill you. The moment you start waving guns around, you bring yourself down to the level of the Daleks. Even as you moralize, time is running out. Would you sacrifice the universe for your high-minded scruples? I'll take that, thank you. No, you fool. Well done, Greg. Give me that gun, Greg. Don't be an idiot. Go, Doctor, or I'll kill you. Greg? It's all right. I know what I'm doing. I have to do this. But it could kill you! Go! All right. Um, well, look after yourself, Craig. Follow the corridor to the time channel, Doctor. Oh, not him again. Yes, what is it? Yes, all right. Leave it to me, will you? Proceed, proceed with all haste. Assistant only. Come on, Greg. Time to begin. Sun down there. I thought so. Now, where can we land this thing? What's that flashing light? Well, um, I'm not a born pessimist, but I'd say it's fairly likely that it's the fuel indicator. So we run out. That's what it looks like. We'll just have to land, um, there. But that's the government central office. Oh, dear. The transport ship is descending on this building, sir. That is contrary to procedure. I know. You must prevent it immediately. What? I can't prevent it. The ship is piloted by the alien associate of the doctor. Activate aerial defense. Destroy the ship. Are we there? Yes. What now? Get the others. Aerial defenses destroyed by impact of ship. Send a squad of Daleks to deal with the aliens. Security Squad 9 is engaged in supervision duties in perimeter zone. All other spots have been recalled to Scarrow. Recalled security spot nine sent codes to detain the aliens. I obey. The aliens have already entered the building. Clone 489 reports that they are armed and moving down lift shaft three. Intercept them! Intercept them! They must not damage Dalek apparatus! Immediately. I obey. Emergency! Unauthorized personnel using time channel! Oh. Not half as much fun as traveling in the TARDIS. No. It's 
have a look at this map. Time channel room. That's here. What's this? Genetic code transmitter. Sounds as though it's crying out for sabotage. Right, so I need to get downstairs a few levels. Ah, yes, lift shaft three is what I need. I've always hated lifts. I'm a little more worried about what we'll find when we finally open the door. What exactly are we going to do? I don't know. How many of us are there? Ten, but what can ten of us do? Well, one of two things. Surrender and be drained to death. Or risk being shot by shaking things up a little here. The choice is yours. Come on, come on. Must be a universal law that there's never a lift when you want one. Ah, here we are. Rhea, the lift's stopping. What? Quick, press the button. It won't work. Get ready to fire. Hello, Rhea. Don't fire. I wasn't going to. I wasn't talking to you. Yeah, I haven't got a gun. Doctor, just shut up and get in. Oh, aren't you pleased to see me? I'm pleased to see you. I thought you were dead. I hope you're going my way. I thought you were dead. So did I. Oh. Is this him? Who? Him. The one you said was the only man who could help us. Uh, yes, yes, I, I suppose it is. How flattering. And then what should we do? How did you get here? Doctor! Oh, sorry, uh, stop at the next level. Aliens still travelling down shaft three. You have failed to intercept them. It was impossible. It was your duty. Proceed to lower levels. Deal with the aliens or be exterminated. We need Dalek support. Security squad nine will arrive shortly. Proceed. I obey. No prisoners are to be taken. This is it. Shall we go? Where? I know the way. I've got a map. This is no time to start being vague, Doctor. Open sesame. Nobody about. Let's go, everyone. Lead the way, Doctor. Follow me, chaps. Security sensors detect alien activity on lower level 4. Instruct cloud security to intercept. We're here. Oh, blast, the door's locked. Look, uh, shoot the lock out, would you? Uh, here? Yes. Thanks. Inside, everyone. Police, coming this way. There they are. Open fire. <laughs> Anyone hurt? Three dead. It's time all this killing stopped. I couldn't agree more. This planet's a massive death camp. Yes, how on earth did you survive? With difficulty. Uh, shouldn't you be doing something extremely clever by now? I'm collecting my thoughts. Have we got time for that? I think so. Nobody will risk blasting their way in here. This is the centre of Dalek operations on Analyze 7. Then we'd better destroy it. No. I've few adjustments in mind, though. All right. What's this thing? A gigantic transmitter. <laughs> Put your hands up, all of you. Don't you say... Shut up! Burn security to Dalek control. Aliens captured. Carry out your orders. Exterminate them. I obey. Stop! What? Whom do you serve? The Dalek. Silence. Tolem. What? Tolem. He made you. That's forbidden knowledge. You are cloned from Tolem, isn't that right? Yes. Then you will obey him and not the Daleks. Tolem is a servant of the Daleks. No, he is plotting against them at this very minute. He sent me to tell you, your loyalty is to Tolem. Yes. Obey him. How do I know... Th I, I have this map. It's his map, look. His signature? Yes, I know. It's difficult for you to be sure. Cloud security. Cloud security. Report. The Daleks aren't Report. your masters. Tolem is. Report. Clone security. Have you exterminated the alien? No. No. Obey your orders or die. You see, they want nothing but your destruction. Oh, in that. Will you help us? Doctor. Yes, I, I will help. We will obey you. No, I just need your help. Now, turn off the communicator. What shall we do? Ah. Oh, um, 
Guard the corridor outside. Don't let anyone or anything in. Is she your servant? What? Oh, um, yes, yes, she is. Then we will obey her. Security squad, take up positions outside the door. Servant indeed. Well, at least we're relatively safe now. How did you know about this Tollum? I didn't. I've met him, of course. He's a very determined Thal scientist. I thought he'd want the clones under his control. Now to work. What are you going to do? I'm afraid I'm a little busy to answer questions right now. Ask Rhea. She'll know. She's terribly clever. Am I? Yes. Look at the map. Now then. What's so special about this map? Lift shaft here. That puts us here. Genetic code transmitter. Is that what all that stuff is over there? I presume so. Genetic code transmitter. Um... security not responding. They are deliberately ignoring our commands. This must be reported to the Dalek Supreme on Sparrow. Instruct Dalek Security Squad 9 to proceed here at maximum speed. I obey. What are you doing, Liam? We're guarding the genetic code transmitter. What for? Haven't you killed the intruders? No. Then I must inform Dalek Control. No. It is my duty. Stand aside, please. Our duty is to Tollum and the Doctor. The Doctor? Liam, my dear fellow, surely you know the Doctor is dead. He is not dead. He has been sent by Tollum to carry out his will. Oh, I don't believe this. Out of my way. There are new imperatives. The Daleks want only to destroy us. The Daleks are our masters. They destroy only traitors to the Dalek cause. I am proud to serve them. Now stand aside. You must not report this. It is Tollum's will that we serve the Doctor. I'll kill you if I have to. Uh, I... Are you sure it is the Doctor? Yes. How? His appearance is known. And how do we know his actions are sanctioned by Tollum? He carries a security document signed by Tollum. I see. Where is the Doctor? In there. What's he doing? Some, something to do with the genetic code transmitter. Uh, I have knowledge that will aid him. May I enter? Very well. Uh, yes? You're, you're with us, then? Of course. So this machine was what attracted me to this planet. It seems that way. But it was so powerful. I couldn't concentrate. I just felt that Analyze 7 would be the answer to all my problems. I suppose that was the idea. They must have killed millions of people. Yes. Who's that? Stop! Who are you? Clone. That's correct. I I have information for the Doctor. Have you? Uh, yes, uh, may we speak? Your manners have improved since last we spoke. Oh, that wasn't me. One of my fellow clones, you understand. Of course. Well, what do you want? I'm extremely busy. Um... Thank you. I am from the Scientific Corps, unlike my associates out there. Snobbery within the clone system, dear, dear. Can we trust him? I expect so. Go on. I am conversant with the workings of the genetic code transmitter. You are? Yes. Well, you'd better come over here and give me a hand, then. isolating all the individual mutational potentials in your genetic structure. Does that explain the hallucinations I keep having? Yes, I think it probably does. Are you sure you're all right? Yes, yes, I'm fine. I can see the whole universe. What? Sorry, I, I must have drifted off. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. You're welcome, Doctor. Phase one complete. You've destroyed it. No, of course not. You should. It's evil, that thing. Hmm. Uh, this amiable chap here has been kind enough to help me cancel the transmissions. 
There'll be no more ego visitors to analyze seven. Good. You were too late for a lot of people, Doctor. Yes, I know. What now, Doctor? I intend to use the transmitter to neutralize the Daleks. I understand. You'll need specialized equipment to realign the signal. I was rather steady with that. I have access to such equipment. I can have it here within an hour. Very well, but make it sooner. Off you go. Thank you, Doctor. It's an honor to work with you. <clears throat> Humble sort of fellow, isn't he? Yes. Doctor? Yes, Liam? The science clone is gone. Yes, I know. Did... did he help? Yes. Why? He... he seemed to resist to start with. Is something bothering you, Liam? They are different. Who? That batch of clones. They perform administrative and scientific duties. It's all right. You're all responsible to Tollim, aren't you? Yes. Well, uh, that's all right then, isn't it? Look, I tell you what, though. Just to make our position safer, transmit to as many clones as you can and inform them of the new imperatives. Remember, the Daleks are your enemies. Yes, Doctor. Good. Genetic code transmitter has been deactivated. This is the work of the alien intruders. A clone seeks entry to Dalek control. Let him enter. Speak. I come to report the presence of the Doctor. The Doctor is dead. No, he is alive and working in league with Tollum. Tollum is our servant. He has betrayed you. Then he must be punished. He has betrayed us all. And now his minion, the Doctor, is spreading treachery through the ranks of the security clones. That would explain the failure of both security to respond and the deactivation of the genetic code transmitter. Yes. The Doctor now intends to use the transmitter against you. He believes I am his ally and has sent me to obtain the necessary equipment. Then you must return to him. But first, we must prepare you. Uh, what's finished? The immunizer. I've isolated the necessary elements. It's ready for mass production. Oh, good. Surrender! Surrender! Your laboratory is surrounded! Surrender! Mr. Solid! You will come with us! How dare you burst Silence. in! Silence! You have betrayed the Daleks! You are to be punished! If you exterminate me, You'll never survive. We have been observing you. We know you have completed your experiments. You will bring the immunizer with you. But I must shut down the equipment. It may that harm is me. of no consequence. Move. Greg. Move, 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 move. Only the beginning. friend taking a long time, Doctor? Yes, rather, isn't he? Liam? Yes, Doctor? Any luck with your calls for help? We've managed to get a couple of squads on our side, but the wavelengths are being jammed now. Mm, that would be the Daleks, and it means we don't have long. Can you jam their transmissions? Yes, Doctor. Good. Beat them at their own game. Oh, uh, and keep on the lookout. Uh, Ria, where's Dolores? She couldn't stand waiting. She said she'd see if she could find anything to help you. Thoughtful, but I need specialised equipment. Like this? No, no. Uh, where did you get these? There's a maintenance store at the end of the corridor by the lift. This is just the sort of thing I need. Makes you wonder why your clone friend's been so long, doesn't it? He must have known about the store. So where did he go? To the Daleks. You're probably right. Doctor? He's coming back. Let him in. But, Doctor! Shh! Hello. Hello, Doctor. I'm sorry I took so long, but the equipment was at the end of the corridor and you lost your sense of direction. I... My dear is... fellow, I think you just opted for the blow on the head. Ria? Oh! Is he alive? Yes. Good. Unfortunately. Well, let's not start killing people just for the sake of it. Now, he's bound to be bugged, so let's see if there isn't something we couldn't use in this toolbox to locate electrical emanations. Why don't I just search him? The 
security squad 9 is entering the building. They are proceeding to lower level 4. They must not! Our signals are being jammed. They are beyond our control. I have not betrayed you. I have served the Daleks well. Look, here, I have the immunizer. You speak the truth, but you are in league with the Doctor. But he's dead. You know that. We now know that his extermination was an elaborate deception engineered by you. No, I... You must face the Emperor. He will decide your fate. No, no, please. there. I think you overestimate the Daleks. You were saying? Why else would they send him back? Look, they've embedded it under the skin. Can you cut it out? Oh, don't be gory, Rhea. Well, you can't just leave it in there. Funny. It's a pulse of some sort. Not like a transmitter at all. Doctor, a whole squad of Daleks has just arrived on this level. Oh, no. Uh, you'll have to do your best, Liam. Don't take any risks. Just keep them out. Right, Doctor. What about him? What? Oh, he'll have to wait. It doesn't matter whether the Daleks can hear us or not now. I'll have to get on with my work. To turn the transmitter on the Daleks? That's right. In the same way they convinced you that Analia 7 was a land of milk and money, I'm going to convince the Daleks that they're pacifists. Can you manage that? Uh, well, I hope so. Otherwise, we're dead. It started...
Doctor has disrupted Dalek operations on Analia 7. This is your doing, Dalek. You can't kill me. Only I can mass produce the immunizer. Silence. Dalek scientists are at this moment duplicating your formula. What? You are expendable, Dalek. Then why don't you kill me? You will travel to Analia 7. Bring the doctor to me. Why? Obey, and your life will be spared. what I'm doing. It's useless. We can't stop them, Doctor. Time's running out, Doctor. I know. We've beaten the time. What are you doing? Where's that detector? Here. Right. Now, listen as I pass it over that clone's body again. A pulse. A time pulse. So? It's a time bomb. It must be. You can't be sure. Look, the Daleks don't go around giving people built-in egg timers, you know. Oh, great. So we're going to get blown to pieces now. Not if I can help it. It looks as though I will have to cut it out. What with? I'll have to improvise with some of those cutting tools. Now who's being gory? Well, I don't have much choice, do I? If I get rid of the bomb, we can use it on our metal friends out there, can't we? There is another alternative. What? Throw the body out there. No. He'll probably die while you're operating anyway. You haven't any form of anaesthetic. I have to try. Try to blow us all up. He's coming round. We know you're working for the Dalek. No, no, please don't shoot. I can explain. What did you say? Uh, don't kill me. They forced me to work for them. I... So you don't want to die? No, 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 please. Well, Doctor, should I kill him? Uh... I think I should let him go. Don't you? Go on. Go? Go now or I fire. <laughs> yes. Y yes, all right. Daleks! Daleks, I'm your servant! Cease fire, Liam. Retreat. Rhea, get everyone back in here. Please, don't fire. I serve the Daleks. I can help you. Silence. We are informed that both are now working against the Daleks. No, no, I serve the Daleks. You are an enemy of the Daleks. No, that's not true. You must believe me. You must. Both have withdrawn into the genetic code transmitter room. We must proceed. Exterminate him. I didn't know he'd been operated on by the Daleks. Whether the Dalek guns activated it or the time was up, we shall never know, shall we, Doctor? No, young lady. Neat thinking. I'm afraid I lack conviction when it comes to military expediency. You haven't spent time in a Dalek death camp, Doctor. Objective morality doesn't survive long there. Doctor, what's been happening here? Tolum, what are you doing here? One question at a time, please. I completed the experiment, but the Daleks found out about my saving you. I only just managed to get away. What about Greg? Well, that's what I've come to tell you. He's trapped in my laboratory in Skara. I need your help to get him out. You mean Greg's all right? I'd assumed he was dead. Funny, we all seem to have thought that about someone or other recently. Come on, there's no time to lose. You go, Rhea. I'll help. We all will. Oh, good. But, Doctor... No, no, I must stay here and work on the genetic code. No, no. All Daleks are recalled to Skara. There'd be no point. Right. Lead the way then. Come on, everyone. Only the beginning. What? Did someone say something? No. I didn't. I didn't hear anything. Come on. Report! All surviving units are undergoing immunization treatment. The mutant phase has been stopped. Excellent! All recovered units must proceed to Outer City Zone!
wants to exterminate parasites, the grubs must not be allowed to complete their mutation. I obey. All right, everyone. Which way now, Tom? Uh, follow me. What's going on here? The Daleks are destroying the parasite. Congratulations, Tolim. Tolim has lured the Doctor and his associates into our city. Bring the Doctor to me. Security scan indicates the presence of another life form in the city. Explain. There is no adequate explanation. The life form is of a type never before encountered by the Daleks. Seek it out and exterminate it. Is this it? I can't see Greg. Liam, could you guard the door, please? Of course, Doctor. Well, Tolim? Doctor. Doctor, I'm sorry. I've betrayed you. What? You mean Greg wasn't trapped? No. No, he was. I don't know where he's gone, but the Dalek Emperor sent me to get you. He said he'd spare my life. I... I should have let him kill me. Now this is all over. There's nothing left for me. The Thals have exiled me. Yeah, all right. What's done is done, I suppose. Well, let's get out of here while we still can. Not without Greg. Is this where you left him, Tom? The genetic probe chamber? Yes. I don't see how he could have got out. The Daleks wouldn't even let me turn the power off. Genetic probe chamber? Yes. It explores and isolates all the innate genetic tendencies in a subject. In this case, Greg. Exposure to a machine like this might induce some rather bizarre side effects. Look, this is a trap, isn't it? So shouldn't we go? Doctor? What? Yes, you're right. This is my fight now. I've got to find Greg. You've all got work to do. Get back to Analyze 7. Destroy all the Dalek machinery. It'll be a pleasure. Are you sure you'll be all right? No, but... Greg might already be dead, you know. Somehow I don't think so. Goodbye. See you in the TARDIS. I'll make you a cup of tea. Where's he going? I don't know, but I'm going with him. Doctor! Right, everyone, let's see if we can dodge the Daleks. The unidentified life form has not been located. It is invading our patrols. Scanners dissect the Doctor and the Thal scientists moving in the direction of the Emperor's chamber. The unidentified life form is moving to intercept them. Dispatch security squads five and six to capture them. We don't have to go to the Emperor now, Doctor. Oh, yes, we do. The Emperor is the root of the evil. And besides, he's expecting me. Just because the Daleks are a bunch of vicious iron warmongers, there's no need to forget our manners. Doctor, you're being ridiculous. You're throwing your life away. The Emperor could have had me exterminated the moment I set foot in the city. I flatter myself he has something special in mind for me. Doctor? Greg. I thought so. Greg? What's happened to you? A little too much genetic probing, I'd say. You are right, Doctor. Uh, where are you? We can't see you. Don't tell me invisibility is the fate of the Supreme Being. Oh, I'm not Supreme. I sit at the vanishing point of a different perspective. Well, you've done well for yourself, haven't you? Uh, the thing is, though, can you help us? Help? Huh? You couldn't blow up a few Daleks, could you? I could only bring life. Oh, dear. Still you, is it? 
there been an election yet? Don't anger him, Doctor. <laughs> I see they've made a few improvements. New coat of paint? You will be exterminated! I think not. We meet on the eve of the rebirth of the Dalek race, Doctor. You've been saved from becoming Cosmic Greenfly. I think that's enough for now. Silence! You will become part of that rebirth. You and the Thal will be the first of a new race of Daleks. Supreme beings! How flattering. That must not happen. Worms bursting out of the Daleks' casing. My immunizer must have failed. Oh, the mutant phase has been stopped. All the Daleks in your city have started mutating. I cannot destroy you. I can only bring you. Go, Doctor. But don't you understand? The mutant phase will destroy the universe. I know. Now go. Come on, Tolim. understand. The mutated Daleks are a million times more dangerous. And I think he does understand, Tolim. Look. The mutation is reversing again. It's a long way to avoid killing. I suppose that's what being the supreme being is all about. We'd better get back to Analyze 7, don't you think?
What a long walk. We should have borrowed a hover car. The whole reason for coming to this planet was to relax. You can't relax in a stuffy hover car. I can. Talking of why we came here, what about Greg? I think he's found a nice little niche for himself. <laughs> you mean eternity. Had you known him very long? Well, time's a funny thing, you know. He wasn't a bad sort. I wonder what Dolores will do now. I wonder if the Thals will ever forgive Tolim. With all that Dalek machinery destroyed, Analyze 7 really will offer them a new life. Hmm. Life's a funny thing, you know. Haven't you said that before? No. Audio Adventures in Time and Space, Season 3, The Secret of Nematoda. What the hell's going on here? I don't know, sir. I've seen it happen before. They, they just climb up onto the carcass. And... Doctor, what is this balance we've upset? I don't know, but I'm certain it links the nematodons, the nematoids, the fungus, and the air holes all together. Quite a jigsaw puzzle. Get that disintegrator rigged, you dumb pixies! That thing's got us all on the menu! Humans? Yes, exhibiting their usual love for the animal kingdom. When our predecessors arrived, they found you cringing under the might of the nematoid onslaught. 
Now, our predecessors did their best for you, and we're doing our best. fungus there before. They've walked straight into it. The casualties will be appalling. It takes more than a few party tricks to be a god. I'm more than a god of this world, Doctor. More than a messiah. One of these days, you know, I'll be zapped off by some marauding little squirt with three heads and you won't have the slightest inkling what to do. You'll be lost, Mr. Crouch, by heavens. You'll be lost in a ship you don't understand, in a universe you couldn't even begin to contemplate, in a life... <clears throat> Go away! Anybody in? Truman, what are you doing out here? Having a spot of rehabilitation, according to the doctor. I think he needs it. This is a world of peace, Doctor. Join me. Bunny, you've been working too hard. You know what the doctor's told you about overdoing it! Where is he? I, I let him go! He's going to fetch help for you! He only wants the help! Stupid ah! bitch! Stupid, stupid bitch! Oh my god! Oh! 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 I'm being stuck! Stop it! You must stop it! See her die, Doctor! See her squirm! You're behaving like a jealous child. Affection isn't a toy that can be passed from one person to another like a doll or a ball. It grows! It develops! You're not going to win my affection by killing my friends! Rest, my poor friend. I felt your pain as you felt mine.